Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, cd 1019 Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island. Okay, so, we've made it to Nut Natal. We've got a few things to do here. We got a pair of puppets, which might not be that help, that much help. Pirate Academy? What is this? Oh. Turn around. Skybrush, come on, buddy. Work with me here. Excuse me, ma'am. What can I do for you, young man? This is kind of a strange place for a school. This isn't your average school, dearie. This is the Ozymandrial Pirate Transmogrification Center. Uh, uh, transmo whatification Transmogrification. We take barbaric, foul-smelling pirates, like yourself, and transform them into prim, productive, and polite members of the emerging consumer-based economy. Th th that's the most nefariously evil thing I've ever heard. Oh, now, now, sweetie. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Really? All right, well, sign me up, I guess. I'm tired of being a slimy pirate. Sign me up. Wonderful. Just go in and take a seat, and you'll soon be on your way to a brighter tomorrow. Good afternoon, class. My name is Miss Rivers, and I'd like to welcome you to Ozymandrill's Pirate Transmogrification Academy, a wholly owned subsidiary of Ozymandrill Enterprises. Just by walking in that door, you've already taken a courageous first step in a journey. A journey that will transform you from swashbuckling pirates into healthy, normal, and most of all, productive members of society. And why have you made this step? Because we don't have a choice. No, dear. You come here because you're scum-sucking pirates who deserve to be dragged into the street and shot like the dogs you are. Yikes. Hmm. I don't now like that. Now then, for the next few hours, we'll be breaking down your antisocial pirate defense mechanisms and replacing them with more acceptable, marketable, behavioral traits. This could take a while. Why don't you come back later? First, let's have a frank talk about pillaging. <laughs> and that's why keel hauling is mad. Very nice, young ya. Now, class, let's move along to your final exam. Three questions that will account for 90% of your grade. That doesn't seem fair. Don't get smart with me, Sonny. Sorry, ma'am. Let's begin. <laughs> Yang Yang? Yes, ma'am. Your tofu burger is delivered medium well, despite your explicit request for medium rare. How do you react? I grudgingly eat the burger while hoping the service improves during my next visit. Mm-hmm. Now then. Guybrush. Yes, Miss Rivers? Your captain has plotted a course directly through the heart of the Devil's Triangle. How do you react? All right, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there's a dunce cap on the table. That could come in handy in the, uh, in the, um, uh, diving contest. So maybe we'll try to get every question wrong on purpose. Um, no. I brush off my irrational fears of the triangle with a laugh and return to my duties. Ah. Oops. Now, Mungo. Yes? What's in your mouth, young man? Pirate spitting tobacco, ma'am. Did you bring enough for everyone? Actually, yes. Well, that's hardly the point, young man. We don't allow pirate paraphernalia in this classroom. Hand it to me. Sorry, ma'am. Hmm. Just got a box of confiscated items. I wonder if there's something in there that we could use. Now then, Nungle. Yes, ma'am? A scruffy-looking stranger offers you a grog. What's your response? I, uh, accept the drink, but pour it in a bush when he isn't looking. Interesting. Okay, second question. Guybrush? Yes? While reading a book of poetry in the library, what appears to be a treasure map falls out of the book. What's your plan of action? Ooh, treasure. I like treasure. Uh... I hunt down and kill everyone who's ever checked out the book. Then, after I kill their families, their friends, and their pets, I seek out the treasure. Arr! Jumpin' Jehoshaphat! Ooh, you're gonna get it. Um, Miss Rivers, Guybrush is scaring me. <laughs> 
Mungo. Yes, sir? While delivering Christmas toys to orphans on a nearby island, you notice a passing ship that's obviously taken on too much cargo. What do you do? A sail by, resisting the urge to attack. Good. And Yanya? Yes, Miss Rivers? After drinking too much grog, a friend of 20 years teases you about your haircut. What is your reaction? I have a good chuckle at my own expense and toast my friend's rapier-like wit. Interesting. All righty then, now for the third and final question. Mungo. Yes, ma'am? A member of the opposite sex rebuffs your advances. How do you cope? I, I write a dirty limerick about her on the restroom wall. Okay. Now, Yanya. Yes, ma'am. A stranger approaches you and asks for the time. How do you respond? I politely give the stranger the correct time and point him in the direction of a watch shop. Mm-hmm. And finally, Mr. Threepwood. Yes? You see a man accosting another with a sword. What do you do? Mm. Taking advantage of their mutual distraction, I impale both men on my trusty sword and steal their gold. Yikes! Oh! Well, I've added up all your scores, and I must say that I'm very unhappy. Mungle, I'm afraid you didn't pass. Your heart's in the right place, dear, but your brain is somewhere cold and dark and covered with spiders. Oh. Ha! Yanya, I'm flunking you, too. Why? I got every answer right. Yes, dear, but your attitude sucks. This is horribly unfair. So's life, sweetie. Get used to it. And then we have Guybrush. Guybrush, I'm afraid you didn't pass either. Don't despair, though. Many of our finest graduates had to take this course five or six times before they fully transmogrified. Really? No, I just didn't want you to feel bad. Now I'd like to leave you with these words of encouragement. Get out! Whoops. Well, mm, that didn't get me anywhere. Okay, my fault. I got the first question uh, somewhat right, which gave me the wrong score. So I'd like to—I gotta need to go in and try this again now. Uh, why don't we? Uh, Miss Rivers? Yes, Mr. Threepwood. I'd like to take another whack at becoming a transmodified pirate. Are you prepared to take the class seriously this time? Yes, ma'am. This pirate lifestyle is too physically taxing for a wimp like me. I understand. Take a seat and we'll get started. Welcome back, class. I can see that all of you have been here before, so let's cut to the final exam, shall we? Three questions, 100% of your grade. Let's begin. Yang Yang? Yes, ma'am. Your captain has plotted a course directly through the heart of the Devil's Triangle. How do you react? I feel a small degree of superstitious, irrational fear, but press on with my duties. Good. Now then, Guybrush. Yes, Miss Rivers? While delivering Christmas toys to orphans on a nearby island, you notice a passing ship that's obviously taken on too much cargo. What do you do? Let's see. Yep. I dump the toys, hoist the Jolly Roger, plunder the ship, decapitate their captain, and set fire to the bloody husk. Well, I never. Tripes, you are hardcore. Now, Mungo. Yes? After drinking too much grog, a friend of 20 years teases you about your haircut. What is your reaction? I, uh, I make a joke about the expanding size of his grog belly. Good. Okay, second question. Guybrush? Yes? A stranger approaches you and asks for the time. How do you respond? Uh, let's see. Disembowel the stranger. I disembowel the stranger with a dagger, hide his body in a nearby alley, and take his wallet. My heaven! Dude, that's harsh. You're gonna flunk. Mungo? Yes, sir? A scruffy-looking stranger offers you a grog. What's your response? I, uh, accept the drink, but pour it in a bush when he isn't looking. Interesting. And Yanya? Yes, Miss Rivers? A member of the opposite sex rebuffs your advances. How do you cope? I chalk it up as a learning experience and move on. Mm-hmm. All righty then, now for the third and final question. Mungo? Yes, ma'am? You see a man accosting another with a sword. What do you do? I run the attacker through with my trusty sword, Winnie. Hmm. Now, Yanya. 
Yes, ma'am. While reading a book of poetry in the library, what appears to be a treasure map falls out of the book. What's your plan of action? I put the map in the book and alert the librarian. I see. And finally, Mr. Threepwood. Yes? Your tofu burger is delivered medium well, despite your explicit request for medium rare. How do you react? Let's see. Uh, bring the restaurant to the ground. I burn the restaurant to the ground and string the chef up by his kidneys. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Miss Rivers, Guybrush is hampering my ability to learn. Well, I've added up all your scores, and I must say that I'm very unhappy. Mungle and Yang Ya, I'm afraid you failed again. Rats! And then we have Guybrush. Guybrush, Guybrush, Guybrush. I've been teaching this course for months, and I can safely say that you're the single worst student I've ever met. I picked lint out of my belly button with more learning potential than you. Now, in order to guarantee that you never darken my school's doorstep again, and to stigmatize you for the rest of your hopefully short life, I'm strapping this dunce cap to your stubborn pirate head in the hopes that humiliation will succeed where education failed. Now get out of my classroom and never return! Yeah, I may be a dunce, but at least I'm a mighty pirate dunce. All right, well, that, that'll that come in handy. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 don't. Oh, I'm there. Get out. All right, let's move over here and see if we can play a little joke on Miss Rivers. Never try this at home, boys and girls. False fire alarms cost lives. Ah! Fire! Everyone run for your lives! That was surprisingly helpful. All right, come on, guy, rush, move. Get inside the door. Uh, there is a whistle here. I would like that whistle. Not so fast, Buster! You could pull a fast one on me, huh? Um... Get out! Now I remember why I dropped out of school. Okay, well, she didn't take the... Oh my god, this... Stop that. Get out. All right, I don't think she took the whistle. She did not. Wonderful. Okay. Let's leave. And go to the other side of nothing, nothing at all. happening. Come on. Well, I don't know why I'm having trouble getting to the other side of the island. There we go. So that's when I sliced open his pancreas. Hi there. You idiot! What do you think you're doing? Uh, what's the matter? He'll see us, you ignoramus! I'm out of here! Fire! Uh, you may want to move a couple of feet to your left. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. Now go away so I can resume my discussion with the delightful Miss Daisy. Uh, well, I'd like to talk to you first. Who are you, you annoying little miscreant? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? Jumbo Lafitte, last of the Lafitte pirates. Lafitte pirates? Okay. Are you aware that you've got a pair of parrots on your shoulders? Really? I hadn't noticed. Was that sarcasm? You know, I can't really tell anymore. In any event, these are, in fact, my parrots. I call them hugging and kissing. You're joking. You're not joking. Which parrot's hugging and which one's kissing? I can't believe I just asked that. I don't know. They're identical twins. It's too bad, too. Why? Because they're special parrots. Special how? Do they sing light operas? Of course not, but they are cursed with powerful voodoo magic. How so? One of them always tells the truth, the other one always lies. Isn't that right, fellas? Uh, yeah, uh, 
one was which they would be tremendously useful yeah, as it is would. they're rather annoying okay um i'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult what's that it's an ancient voodoo talisman of button numbingly incredible power Ooh, sounds dreadful jumbo lafitte any relation to tiny lafitte tiny lafitte was my father oh, uh, i'd like to talk okay. some more about your father Are you sure you weren't adopted? After all, you're so big and Tiny was so... tiny. You should have seen my mother. She was a large woman, I take it? She had a picture of Monkey Island tattooed on her butt. So? Actual size. Ugh. This is obviously a painful subject. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, well, that's not enough. Where'd that cannonball I'm come from? That dreadful here. Admiral Kasaba person. Every time he sees three or more pirates talking, he thinks there's a conspiracy afoot. So he begins to lob cannonballs at us. If I weren't so comfortable here on the beach, I'd sail out there and give him a piece of my mind. Hmm. I'd like to talk some more about your father. <laughs> okay. This is obviously a painful subject. Let's talk about something else. All right, I'm missing information. Okay. So let me... Don't get up. I'll see myself out. Goodbye, little pirate. Let's go back to... Jambalaya. I need to talk to that person about, uh, that person at the statue about, um, about, uh, Tiny Lafitte statue. Okay, let's talk to this guy over here. Maybe I'll look at the statue first. Tiny Lafitte. Cuyus Prida S? Dang it. More Latin. Now I wish I'd bought that Latin for Scummy's book. Uh, look at the what statue. a jolly looking statue. But it looks like someone's taken a crowbar to its head. Pardon me. Yes. Um. What kind of a pirate are you? A pirate? Moi? Heaven forbid, old bean. I'm just a humble tourist. You're pretty brave for a tourist. Most tourists would steer clear of pirate-infested islands. Normally, you'd be right. In the past, I've avoided islands like Jambalaya because of their pirate problems. But my tour guide assured me that Jambalaya has been scrubbed clean of its more undesirable pirate elements, if you catch my drift. Uh, okay. That's a great ensemble. Isn't it, though? My wife picked it out for me. It looks like a produce cart exploded on your arms. Uh, what are, what you, are doing? you doing? I'm admiring the craftsmanship of this statue of Jambalaya's most famous pirate, Tiny Lafitte. What made him famous? What made Tiny so famous? He was the friendly pirate of Jambalaya Island. He robbed from the bad and gave to the nice. And he always said please and thank you. Twice. He's the perfect symbol of the new, non-threatening Jambalaya Island. Uh... Was there really a tiny Lafitte, or was he dreamed up by someone's marketing department? Oh, he's real, all right. I hear his son lives across the bay, or nothing at all. What happened to the top of the statue? Looks like someone gave Tiny a bad haircut. I'm not sure. Rumor has it that some vandalist pirates from Nutton at all stole the statue's hat, but I don't believe it. They do a pretty good job of keeping those types off of Jambalaya. Hmm. I'd rather not talk about Tiny right now. Fine. What would you Whoops. say if I told you that I was one of those undesirable pirate elements? You! Don't be so hard on yourself. You may be a little smelly, and your manners could use some improvement, but you're not even one-tenth as vile as one of those rapacious brigands that used to roam this island. I think I've just been insulted. <laughs> all right, sorry to, sorry to bother you. No bother at all, Bean. Okay, so we learned more about Tiny, and... Let's go see if we can talk to talk to Jumbo and see if that's actually the truth. Come on, stop running in circles. Oh, this is killing me. Will you go the way I want you to, please? It's a temporarily beautiful be Okay, there. It's the community robot I borrowed. Ugh. Darn it. Use.
Okay, back to the beach. Back to the beach. I'm out of here! Talk to Jumbo. I'm back. Imagine my delight. Uh, I'd like to talk some more about your father. <laughs> okay. Was he really called Tiny the Friendly Pirate? No! My daddy was everything a real pirate should be. Violent, vulgar, psychotic. Pirates lined up for miles to spit on his grave. If Tiny was such a great pirate, then what's with the Tiny the Friendly Pirate statue? It's those soulless cretins at Ozymandrel Enterprises. They're using my father's name and image as happy icons for their new family-friendly Jambalaya Island. Those jerks. What happened to Tiny's statue? I happened to it. Come again? To lend a touch of authenticity to their precious statue, Mandrill's flunkies bronzed my father's captain's hat and welded it to the statue. Enraged by this sacrilege, I gathered some pirates and raided Jambalaya Island. Before anyone knew what happened, I rescued my father's chapeau, returned to nothing at all, and buried my treasure. Your father would have been proud of your piratey prowess. Oh, thanks. Unfortunately, my raid inspired Mandrill to hire Kasaba to patrol the waters of Nutton. Now, Nutton Atoll is nothing more than a prison for recalcitrant pirates who don't share Ozzy Mandrill's vision. One pirate to another. Where did you bury your father's bronze hat? I don't know. What? I know I buried it under a boulder along the beach. I just don't know which one. Ah. Uh... Hmm. If I find your father's hat, can I borrow it? I don't know. Why do you want it? I'm going to use it to crush Ozymandra like a bug. Really? Oh, that's great! If you can find it, feel free to use it. Okay. Um... This is obviously a painful subject. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Okay, so... Don't get up. I'll see myself out. Goodbye, little pirate. So Jumbo buried the hat along the beach. He doesn't know where Holy it is. Holy jumping monkeys, that's a lot of boulders. How am I ever going to find the right one? Well, I have an idea. The parrot, one always tells the truth, so he might know where it is. I wonder if I could call him with this whistle. Ah. Hmm. Kind of sounds like a parrot. Okay, I'm going to save this here because I want to mark the bird's... A certain way. Now, obviously, after I ask the birds a question, they're gonna fly away and scramble. Um, so that's the reason why I have to mark one of them. Let's talk to the parrot on the left. Uh, what's two plus two? Two plus two? Three! Ah! That must have been the lying parrot. Okay, so let's load. Okay, let's give this Gragachino to the parrot on the right. Hey, look at him dance. Okay. So, let's talk to the parrot on the right. Two plus two? Ah! Four, four, four. That must have been the truth-telling parrot. Okay. Now let's have a conversation with this parrot until we figure out where this bronze hat is. Okay, parrot on the left. Uh, which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so let's go one rock back. It's funny, I played this game once and I asked the, the parrot just the question immediately and he just said, nowhere, nowhere. And I'm like, oh, wow, okay, I right rock the first time. Uh, I need to use the whistle to get them to come over here. Hopefully this hopefully this hat isn't very far down the beach. Okay, let's talk to the parrot on the left. I don't think he'd like that. I'm gonna have to keep pulling this out. Alright. Uh, is it under this rock? Is Tiny Lafitte's hat buried under this rock? No! 
Hmm, I know that that parrot always tells the truth, so... Tiny Lafitte's hat must not be here. All right, well, wishful thinking. All right, so which way is the hat? Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East, 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 east. Well, I mean, that's kind of the only way I can go at this point. way. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East, 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 east. You know, I can tell at this point he's not going to tell me to go up north, so I'll just have to keep going east until he tells me. Well, no. I can I can keep asking. It's, it's more fun that way. I'd like it when he, I'd like him to say nowhere 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 instead of yes. I don't think he'd like that. The whistle away. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East, 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 east. All right, gotta go another screen over. I think he'd like that. I keep forgetting to put the whistle away. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East, 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 east. Okay. Maybe it's this one. I don't think he'd like that. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East, 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 east. Probably gonna have to go to the other end of the beach at this point, or at this rate. All right, here we go. Probably should have started in the middle of the beach. I don't think he'd uh, like that. For crying out loud, why do I keep making that mistake? Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East, 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 east. Okay. I've got to be close to the edge of the beach at this point. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East, 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 east. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East, 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 east. Crying out loud, Tiny. Why is this so far back? Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? Nowhere, 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 nowhere! All right. I know that that parrot always tells the truth, so... Tiny Lafitte's hat must be buried under this rock! All right, we found the rock. So... I guess the parrot's lost interest. We need to get this boulder out of the way. But luckily, there's an idiot on a boat with a bunch of cannons who can't tell the difference between pirates and, and uh, puppets. Hi there, little Guybrush. Hi there, big Guybrush. Hi there, little Lechuck. Ah, ahoy there, big Guybrush. 
What's on your mind, little Guybrush? I think Admiral Kasaba's a big dope, don't you? Oh, I don't know, little Guybrush. What do you think, little Lechuk? I think little Guybrush wouldn't know a real pirate if it stabbed him in the liver. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Now, boys. A moral lout. Defeat doily sniffer. Unemployed layabout. Guys. Pirate poser. Uncultured corpse. Girly man. I really think that's loud enough to catch Kasaba's attention. Jerk. Idiot. Nimrod. Dark. Moron. Spaz. Jerk. Idiot. Nimrod. Dark. Why, those, those ignorant anarchist savages. How dare they plot against my benevolent tyranny. Simkins, wheel out the relic. Do we have to, sir? Our ears are still ringing from the last time. I've had just about enough of your pusillanimous insubordination, Simpkins. Now roll out the really big cannon and blow up those terrorists this instant. Aye, aye, sir. Fire! Bronze hat of Tiny Lafitte. All right, two pieces down with one to go, and we know exactly where it is. Let's see, let's see if we can use this hat with this cup. There, I'm two thirds of the way to having my own personal ultimate insult. Okay, let's get back to Jumbalaya Island. to the diving contest. All right, let's dive against him. I'm back. So I see. What can I do for you, Mr. Thripwood? I'd like to dive against you again. Again? Are you some sort of masochist? I don't know. You some kind of chicken? Oh, fine. Just remembered you asked for this humiliation. Marco Di Pollo is about to attempt a spinning swordsman. Kill her. Spinning swordsman. Combination. Read the sirens of this entire. Okay, I think Keel Hall was on down. Or no, Keel Hall was on up. I do not envy you, Mr. Thripwood. Oh, alright. I needed to do something else first, I think. But let's uh, turn on. Let's put on this dunce cap. Alright, let's see if I get this right. So, Keel Hall was down, right? Or Spinning Swordsman? So, Spinning Swordsman, Keel Hall. No, I almost. Okay. Keel Hall was up. My bad. Darn. It's nice to see that good old fashioned blackmail still works in some parts of this modern world. Eh, I guess the dunce cap worked. Whoa, flashback, man. Marco DePoyo wins again. All right, almost got it. Let's take one more dive, but before we do, let's put some of this schmearwiz in this little baby, this bottle of baby oil he's got here, this baby seal. Hey, look, over there. Maybe that'll appease the hungry seagulls. Uh. Yeah, certainly appeased that one. I'm back. So I see. What can I do for you, Mr. Thripwood? I'd like to dive against you again. Again? Are you some sort of masochist? I don't know. You some kind of chicken? Oh, fine. Just remembered you asked for this humiliation. Marco Di Pollo is about to attempt a alpha monkey. Rum barrel. Spinning swordsman. Combination. Let's give him complete silence. Okay, I think that's left down right. The plank is yours, Thripwood. All right, let's try to get this. Oh, put on the dunce cap. There we go. We got it. Cool. It's 
nice to see that good old-fashioned blackmail still works in some parts of this modern world. Looking good. Whoa, dudes, this is unprecedented. The newcomer has tied Marco de Pollo. What happens now? We move on to the tiebreaker round. Scissors, rock, paper? You wish. In this round of dives, you will go first, and the Pollo will try to match your dive. You have shown that you can mimic my moves, Mr. Threepoor, but I doubt that you can concoct a dive that I cannot perform. We'll just see about that, dive monkey. Very well. The prank is yours. So he's not wrong. We can't make a dive that he cannot mimic. But that's not really gonna matter at this point. Cool. Tense upside down. Good. Eh, I guess the dunce cap worked. Very good, Mr. Threepwood. Just give me a second to prepare for my dive. What Marco doesn't know is that we've replaced his regular baby seal oil with Star Buccaneer Schmearwiz. Let's watch. <laughs> Now, my friend, prepare to watch a master in action. Now, Marco Di Pollo will attempt to beat Guy Brush Three Foods Dive. Let's give him complete silence for this dive. Ah! Shoo! Go away! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the new all-world plank diving champion is uh I brush three pod. I protest! That was not a fair dive! I want a rematch right now! I am Marco de Pollo, the greatest plank diver in the world! Marco! Polo! Who said that? Marco! Polo! <laughs> Stop it! I will not be mocked! Marco! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Polo! <laughs> Gee, I wonder how Elaine's doing. Hi! Hey, thanks for coming out to vote. Remember, a vote for me is a vote against Demon Spawn Hell Pirates! Thanks for your support, citizen. Good times and free grog are just around the corner. Don't vote for Charles. He's really LeChuck, the demon zombie ghost pirate from hell. Oh, give it up, Mrs. Threepwood. Everybody knows that LeChuck is dead and that your husband killed him. You'll have to excuse her, Mr. Charles. Think nothing of it, my good man. <laughs> Well, that should just about wrap things up. I think I'll go pack my bags and get ready to move into the governor's mansion. <laughs> well, that's a shame for uh, Lane. Mr. Cheese. Aye, Captain. Raise the anchor, hoist the sails, and ready the warp drive. Aye, Captain. Otis. What? Go find Carla and sober her up. Oh, yeah, that'll be Sorry. easy. Now that the pieces of the ultimate insult are mine, it's back to Manny Island. Why to put the ultimate insult back together? I didn't get a chance to. He makes kind of like this weird little speech when you do. That's what happens for doing these out of order. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> LeChuck! That's Governor LeChuck to you, see good. No way! Yes way. Ozzy! I had a feeling you were working for LeChuck. I'm afraid you got it backwards, pirate boy. LeChuck's working for me. Well, that makes me feel better. Governor LeChuck, would you be kind enough to relieve Mr. Threepwood of the pieces to the ultimate insult? Ah, it'd be a pleasure, Mr. Mandrill. Don't do it, LeChuck. He wants to use the ultimate insult to humiliate every pirate on the face of the Earth. And? You know? Oh, of course he knows, you sloth-brained pile of kookaburra droppings. B why, LeChuck? Why would a swashbuckling, albeit demonically evil, pirate like yourself willingly aid in the mass emasculation of your fellow buccaneers? 
Well, that's a long story, sheep good. Oh, no. But it basically boils down to two reasons. First of all, this mandrill scallywag pulled me out from under that mountain of ice that you left me under. And LeChuck always repays his debts. Fine, you owe the guy, but why go along with this plan to irreversibly insult all the pirates? Because, you seafaring scumweasel, when we succeed in breaking the fighting spirit of all the pirates, LeChuck will finally have the one thing he's always wanted in life. Or death, as the case may be. You don't mean... Yes, Elaine Marley's hand in marriage. Um, excuse me, see the ring on this finger? You're a little late, bucko. Well, I think I can fix that. LeChuck, no! We may need him as a hostage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a hostage. Besides, even if you kill me, Elaine still never marry you. She hates your stinking undead guts. Ah, but that's the beauty of the ultimate insult, Threepwood. Once your wife has been exposed to its hideous, demoralizing power, her fiery pirate spirit will be shattered like so many emu eggs, leaving her compliant, submissive, and obedient. <laughs> In other words, the perfect wife! <laughs> Speaking of perfect wives, where is Elaine? We were hoping you could answer that question, Mr. Threepwood. Your mischievous Sheila went walkabout right after Captain LeChuck was elected governor of this pirate-infested backwater of an island. Good for her. I hope she comes back with an army of pirates and kicks your sorry butts. Are you sure I can't kill him yet? I've left him alive before, and it's always turned out to be a big mistake. I see your point. How about we stow the twerp in an inescapable faraway place where he can't do any harm? Then he'll still be a useful hostage, but he won't be able to affect our plans. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's a hellishly good idea! And I know just the place! <laughs> <laughs> Act 3, Escape from Monkey Island! Where am I? This island smells kind of familiar. Ugh. Only one island smells as bad as... Oh no! Those two maladjusted greed monsters left me marooned on Monkey Island! Well, that's it. I give up. I'll never overcome these incessant obstacles. It's like my whole life is a never-ending series of... of puzzles. Oh, hey, Timmy. <laughs> Don't try to cheer me up. Just give up. I know I am. Oh. All right, I'll do it for the kids. First order of business, get off this stupid island. Second order of business, stop Ozzy and LeChuck from using the ultimate insult on Elaine and assorted others. Third order of business, buy some new shoes. <laughs> How'd he get here anyway? <laughs> Good question. All right, as you can see from the map, there is a lot more game to go, including one of the most frustrating mechanics of this entire game, I'm not looking forward to that part, but more stuff to do when we return. Thank you so much, for everyone, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun, and myself at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. Until next week's episode, for more Escape from Monkey Island, I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.